Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about five short Java interview question answers and very important Java interview questions. What is import used for? So in your Java class, you can use import statements. What is that? What is the use of that? Import statements enables the programmer to abbreviate the names of the class defined in a package. So you have Java Lang package and there are a lot of classes inside Java Lang. So in order to include all the classes in from Java Lang, you can use import. Explain servlet chaining. Servlet chaining is a technique in which two or more servlets can cooperate in serving a single request from the client. What is the difference between set and list? Please remember set stores elements in an unordered way but does not contain duplicate elements at all. I want to repeat this, set does not allow duplicate elements at all. Whereas list stores elements in ordered way but may contain duplicate elements. So list will contain duplicate elements and set will never allow duplicate elements. List can also hold null elements while set can't. Set can't hold the null elements. What is the difference between hash map and hash table. The hash map class is roughly equivalent to hash table. So actually speaking they both are same but in one perspective they are different. That hash table the methods are synchronized and and in the hash map it permits null whereas hash table it does not permits null. So hash table you can use it for thread safety if your if your class or method using thread safety collections then you can go ahead and use hash table because methods inside the hash table are synchronized so it is handled internally what is an iterator some of the collection classes provide traversal of the contents via a java dot util dot iterator interface it's an interface this interface allows you to walk through a collection of objects it will help you to iterate say you have a collection object and uh, you have added some 20 items inside the object inside the collection and if you want to iterate those 20 items you can use iterator and each object in turn so you can use for loop and you can use iterator to to traverse the contents of the list hope this video is useful thank you and all the best